Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to find reactions in um, in SOLIDWORKS. As shown in this figure, we have two beams joined together. There is a uh, concentrated force loaded in the XY plane. This force is uh, 0.8 kilonewtons or 100 newtons acting at this joint B. So our goal is to find reactions at, point, at points A and O. And um, these are pin supports. As you know, they, they prevent the movement in the vertical and horizontal direction only. So we will try to simulate this in SOLIDWORKS and compare the results with uh, hand calculation values. So let's start with the uh, with modeling of the problem. So I'll put this on the screen so you can follow along the modeling. So let's start with a new part. So once we do the new part, um, let's go to the settings, document properties, units, make sure we have this in uh, millimeters. This problem is in millimeters. So, so let's start with uh, with a new sketch, select the front plane, select the line, and let me start with the construction line as a reference. Then we can go back to the line command and select the line. And let's create a uh, the two beams. So this right here is uh, 60 degrees. We can just make that 60. And uh, the length of this one is 900 millimeters. So, so once we have that, we can just select on the um, exit command. So from here, uh, we are going to be using the weldment tool tab. If you don't, if you don't have it, you can just right click and select the um, the weldment tab. So once you do that, you can click on that. And we're going to select the structural member. Uh, from here, we can select any um, any structural size. We are just finding the reaction, so the size and type doesn't really matter. Uh, for in this case, I'm going to select rectangular tube. That's fine, and the size. Uh, we, I'm okay with this size. Uh, it's very important that the two lines that we're going to select um, are within the same groups. So this is what I mean. So let's go to groups, and we're going to select that one, the first beam, and the second beam. So as you can see, there is only one group, and the two lines are within that group. And then from here, um, you can you can apply a corner treatment if you prefer. As you can see, we have different uh, types. Uh, for um, for this case, I'm just gonna leave it um, as the uh, with a default. It, it doesn't really affect the uh, the reaction forces calculation. So once you do that, let's hit OK. And now we have the two beams um, model as the problem. So the next thing that we are going to do is um, now we're going to go into the simulation to calculate the reaction forces. So let's click on simulations. Again, if you don't have it, you can just right click on and tabs. Make sure you have the, um, the simulation selected. So once we're here, let's go to new study. I'm just going to rename this um, as reaction forces. And let's hit OK. So the first thing is we need to uh, apply a material to the to the uh, to the bodies. If you don't do that, the, the simulation is going to it doesn't let you continue. So we can select uh, 1060. The material, it doesn't matter. We're just calculating the reaction. So, But you still need to select it. Uh, 
the next thing will be the fixtures. So just right click, fix geometry. As you recall, um, these are pin supports and we need to uh, prevent the movement on the um, horizontal and vertical direction only. So for that, we are going to um, select the uh, use reference geometry. We're going to use that. Click on that, and then this is the uh, the joint. So let's start with the first one. So select that joint, and the reference plane will be. Um, you can select either either plane. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna pick the front plane. That would be the reference. And right here at the bottom, at the translation. So we're going to uh, constrain the translation along that plane that we selected. So click on that one, along direction number two, and also normal to, to that plane that we selected. So if you see um, right here, let me increase the, uh, the symbol size so you can see better. Let's make that 500. So you can see that we are preventing the translation on the X and Y direction and also front to back. So that would be for the first joint. Let's hit OK. And we are going to do the same thing for the second joint. So use reference geometry, select the joint. Let's go to the, uh, the reference plane. Again, you can select any plane as long as you um, go back here and um, and have these selected. And then right here at the bottom, we have rotation. Um, since these are pin supports, they do allow rotation. So we are not touching those. So once you're happy with this, hit OK. Okay, so now we should we should have the two um, constraints, one for each um, joint at the bottom. Okay, so once we have that, we can um, we can go to the external loads to apply that force. Okay, so again we have. Um, a joint so let's select that joint as the selection and uh, click on that similar steps let's select the um, for this one here um, you can select any plane again but at, as long as you keep the uh, the force in the right direction so for example if you select the right plane we are going to select the the force to be acting normal to that plane. So if you select normal to that plane, we can put here the 800 Newton's um, magnitude. So um, right here, let me make this symbol bigger so you can see the direction of the of the force. If you see the problem, the, uh, the force is acting on the other way. So we're just going to reverse direction. So one more time so we select the right plane and we apply the force normal to that plane so once we have that we can click ok and we have the uh, uh, the settings almost complete the last step will be the mesh so we can create mesh and run and or create mesh and then run so let's create the mesh first so that's the mesh created. Um, now we can uh, run the study. So the the uh, the study has been completed. Um, as you can see, we have as default we have the uh, stress one and displacement. Uh, since we are looking for re reactions at these two locations what we need to do is let's go to results right click 
and there are two ways of uh, finding these reactions. So the first one is we can click on list result forces. So once you uh, click on that, we can select the first joint right here. It'll appear right here, and then we can click update. Okay. As you can see, we have uh, the resultant force of uh, 13, um, one, uh, 1386, more or less. And um, that's at the, so that will be the, um, the resultant acting on the, um, on the Y direction. So you can see here. And that's what we are expecting um, for these kind of problems. So the um, to find out the other one, we can just um, remove this, select the joint, and click Update. So this one is a little different uh, since we have this beam at a 60 degree angle. So we are going to have components forces in the x and y direction as you can see here so we have x 800 on the y we have 1386 more or less and then we have the resultant which is around 1600 newtons so what they did here is um, they just took the x and y and, and used the uh, pythagorean theorem to find the resultant force along the inclined beam. So that's one way. The other way is let's go back to uh, results and we can click on uh, list beam forces. So once we click on that, we are just going to keep the forces and that's all you have to do. And let's hit OK. And a table. Uh, will appear with a few uh, values here so you can you have to, a couple options here so you can say uh, show extreme values only and um, it'll give you the the reactions um, as you can see here so this is 1599 1600 and then um, you can you can see the the beam has been highlighted so the 1600 is the resultant reaction at this location and then if you select the other one 1386 um, that will be the the reaction at the other side so let's see yeah, it's right there so 1386 will be for the for the reaction at this location as you can see it's being highlighted so you can close this um, table and um, if you want to see some animation here, um, you can do so by um, by going to the plot tools and then um, click animate. So this is uh, more or less how the beam will, how the two beams will uh, act upon this force of um, 800 newtons. So that's a quick, nice little tool. So you can kind of uh, simulate the behavior of the setup. And finally, we can we can um, compare these two values with uh, hand calculations. So let's go back to the um, with a list result force. Let's select the first joint click update and um, as you can see here so we have uh, 1386 we have uh, 1390 for the reaction at at point eight I at, at this point oh and um, for the other one we can we can clear this up, select the other 
joint, click on update, and as you can see, the result on at that location is 1600 given by the hand calculation and by the, by SOLIDWORKS we have 1599.3 so it's pretty close and um, and this is how you will calculate the reaction forces in in this uh, simulation and in SOLIDWORKS uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching